For the unpowerly say, reasoning with themselves, but not a right. Our life is short and tedious, and in the death of a man there is no remedy. Neither was there any man known to have returned from the grave. So like I said, they have no comfort. They have no comfort. And we as a people, we cast off our comfort. For what? For worldly things. For our worldly desires. Because we have more confidence in what we see than in what we don't see. And what is faith? Faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. So we cannot be a society of people saying we have faith. But yet, we have no confidence in the most high. We don't put our trust in the most high. We have confidence in man. Looking about Obama, looking about Hillary Clinton, looking about all these politicians to save us. They can't do nothing for us. The hammer's coming down. America's gonna burn. Where your head at? Where's your head at? Come on. Psalms 10 and 1. Why standest thou far off, O Lord? Right. Why hidest thou thyself in times of trouble? But he's not hiding. He's abiding the time. He's waiting to the wicked to fulfill their, their deeds to the wicked fulfilled what they were sent to do. They got a number. They got a set time. And the Most High is not going to make no moves until that time. When that time comes, then we'll see the Most High's power in the earth. Give me that from Psalms 94 now. Psalms 94 and 1. He that planted the ear, shall he not hear? Right. So there's no, there's no need to question what's going on with the Most High. The scripture says, he that planted the ear, shall he not hear? Come on. He that formed the eye, shall he not see? There's nothing hidden from the eyes of the Most High. There's nothing that is hidden from the eyes of the Most High. He beholds all our ways. So there's nothing that you think that you're doing in secret that is not being kept record. Everything's being recorded. Everything's being recorded. There's no way, no possible way, anybody's going to get away with anything. Come on. Psalms 94.10. He that chast chastises the heathen, shall he not, shall not he correct? Right? He that chastises the heathen, can he not, will he not correct? He that chastises the heathen, shall he not correct? Of course he's going to correct him. Come on. He that teacheth man knowledge, shall he not, shall not he know? Shall he, shall not he know? So, the question was, why stand the far off? It says, why stand the far off, O Lord? Why hidest thyself in the time of trouble? He's not hiding. He's just laying back, letting the wicked do what he's going to do. Till the time be fulfilled. Till the time be filled. But what the most I want? He wants willing and obedient service. He don't want to force nobody. That's why he did away with the, um, the, um, the condemnation and the judgmental part of the law. And the sacrificial part of the law. It just held, so the righteousness is still intact. But the condemnation, the sacrificial, and the judgment part is done. We can't judge nobody in the earth. Don't get me wrong, we're judging righteousness and wickedness, but to be personalized anything and say, you, you're going to hell, I don't know if I'm making it. So I'm not going to judge nobody personally. Nobody personally. But your deeds and your works, I will judge them. I will judge them. That's wicked. That's wicked. That's good. But if individual, I can't judge. I can't just say you're going to hell. I don't know if I made it yet. I don't know if I made the number yet. Job 12 and 23. He increased the nations uh -huh. and destroyed them. Uh -huh. He enlarged the nations and straightened them again. Praise the Lord. So with the hand of the Most High, I do that. It's the Most High that do that. All nations. Jew and Gentile. So all these people, all these um, congregations running around talking about the other nations can't get it. They have just as much access to the Heavenly Father as we do. All they have to do is walk in the proper respect of the Most High and His righteousness, which is right here in the Scriptures. They can get it like we can get it. They can get burnt like we can get burnt. There's no difference, Jew or Gentile. Deuteronomy 32, verse 39. See now that I, even I am He, uh -huh. and there is no power with me. There's no other power with the Most High. There's not Asherah, there's not, there's not Jesus, there's no other Allah, there's, not, there's the only Heavenly Father. There's one Heavenly Father. So we can't run around in these divisions. I'm this, I'm that, I'm that. There's only one. And we all have to come into that one knowledge. How to serve Him acceptably. How to serve Him acceptably. 
That's the only way we're going to get it. All these divisions are coming. Aren't going to get it. The Most High is not coming back from religion. He's not coming back from religion. Read that. First Corinthians 2 and 11. Uh, well, what man? 12 and 12. First Corinthians 2 and 12. Now we have received not the spirit of the world. Right. But the spirit which is of the Most High. Right. So we didn't receive the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of the Most High. So we no longer walk in carnal and our carnality of the body. It's all according to the spirit now. We walk according to the spirit. We put off the carnality, the things that we put that we lock in. Like what? Like what? Check this out. First Peter 4 verse 3. Give me that Romans 8 and 9. First Peter 4 and 3. For the time past of our life may suffice us uh -huh. to have brought the will of the Gentiles. Right. What is this saying? For the time past of our life. I'm 34 years old. I would say I actively started being wicked when I turned 12 years old. When I could step off my porch. So from the time that I was 12 to the time that I was 20, I exercised a whole lot of wickedness. I exercised a whole lot of wickedness. So then I came into the knowledge of the scripture. And as Paul says, when the commandments came alive, sin revived, sin revived and I died. So when I got knowledge of these scriptures, I stopped doing the wickedness. So what this scripture is saying here is, for the time past, my past life should have sufficed me. Should have sufficed me. I should have done all the wickedness that I possibly desired in that time. Read it again. First Peter 4 and 3. Uh -huh. For the time past of our life may suffice us to have wrought the will of the Gentiles uh -huh. when we walked in lasciviousness, lust, excess of wine, uh -huh. revelings, banquetings, and abominable idolatry. Right. When we were straight wicked. It's okay. okay. When we were straight wicked. When we were straight wicked, our time, the time of that, our time in that stuff should have sufficed us. We should have perfect understanding of them things. And whatever things you didn't do, praise the Lord that you didn't do them. Because some of us are paying for the past sins. Some of us are paying for our past sins. It's just who's going to acknowledge it? I acknowledge it. I acknowledge all the wickedness that I've done. I acknowledge it. And I understand my position in life now, how I'm not here, how I'm not there, how this isn't working out. But the Lord said, nobody going to escape. Everybody will be punished for their wickedness. Some men before I'm death and some after death. I pray that mine go before death. So I'd rather be judged in the earth than to be judged when the Heavenly Father step before the earth because the fire and brimstone for whosoever do not make the cut. Oh yeah. Romans 8 and 2. Romans 8 and 2. Romans 8 and 2. Romans 8 and 2. For the for the law of the spirit of life in Christ, Yahweh Shah, has uh -huh. made me free from the law of sin and death. Right. So the law of life that is in Christ, the law of life that is in Christ, righteousness, not the law of the Old Testament, where if, 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 if I get caught stealing, I get stoned or got to pay two turn it up. Don't steal. 